Hey guys, welcome to another video. It is 10 DPO today, which means we are on the hump day. It's basically the day I expect my positive. That is, okay, I can open these tests. Okay. So, as I said, it is 10 DPO. I, my mind is very much stuck on a bunch of comments I have received on yesterday's video. And I'm kind of like, I need to talk about it. So, I'm gonna dip this bad boy. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna chat. Not in a bad, like bad comments or anything. Like let's not, let me clear that up. It's just that the topic is very, very close to my heart right now. <laughs> and I feel like I need to not just write a reply, but actually talk about it. If I can cover this test, there we go, thank goodness. Okay, timer is going. Also, there was one comment that was like, I'm so glad, or something along the lines of, I'm so glad, or that we can at least skip the random chat to get to the result. I'm kind of like, yeah, it's, it's YouTube, you can do that. <laughs> Great, okay, anyway, moving on. So I got a whole bunch of different comments, uh, different in like how they said it, etc. meaning well at all points, uh, kind of asking me, if I'm tired of trying for so long, if I'm tired of testing constantly for so long, um, that it's been almost three years and just, you know, how I'm handling and all that kind of thing. And then there was one specific comment, again, not meant in a bad way, I'm pretty sure of that. Just, there was one little thing that I'm kind of like, I wouldn't say that, but let's, yeah, so. <laughs> Um, she was asking again, like the other comments that, you know, she was kind of mentioning how it's been three years almost and that this isn't healthy and how would you possibly be constantly trying and trying and trying to do the same thing for almost three years with no change and that that is not healthy and I should look into a mental evaluation, I believe she said, uh, in regards to like obsession or anxiety or, I don't know, deeper issues. <laughs> Anyway, I have talked about that way more than I should, so I'm not gonna really go in depth on that. I just wanted to say, I feel like me personally, I wouldn't ask someone under like an, a comment on a YouTube video where I'm not living with this person, I don't see them day to day, I don't see them past these videos. I wouldn't ask them if maybe they should consider a mental evaluation. <laughs> um, I would maybe say it in a way, like a different way. Maybe perhaps I would say, you know, make sure that you're prioritizing your mental health. And I have mentioned that multiple times because um, I have looked into, uh, as I've mentioned, I do have ADHD. So I have been talking to a therapist. I have kind of doing other things in the background that I'm not constantly talking about. So mental evaluations, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't put that out there. Just, just saying, I, I felt like it was not very, I don't know, it just, it didn't feel nice. It didn't click nicely with me, just to put it that way. Now, moving on from that part, that little thing that just kind of, you know, three years. Number one, I feel like my almost three year journey has been broken up because we did move at a point. We did have like a lot of changes throughout a certain point. Um, specifically, I would say around the one year mark, just over one year mark, there were just a lot of changes, a lot of things happening. Um, we had almost stopped breastfeeding, then we started breastfeeding again, and then we stopped again. And then um, just, just a lot kind of happened, especially during that like one year in between those three years. So kind of think of the three years as, you know, one, two, three years. Year number two was kind of <laughs> broken up for multiple reasons. So. It's kind of, it hasn't been like a constant linear, you know, every single cycle is the same. My periods, my cycles used to be very uneven. They used to be all over the place. They have gotten way more regular as time has gone by. And it hasn't really been until this past, I would say six months that my cycles have really, really regulated again. And I feel like they're actually once more reaching a point where I can predict a bit better of like when I'm getting my period, etc. because there was a point there during the first couple of years of TTC at this point, and before that actually, where I had no idea. Like it was, it was anywhere from cycle day 11 to cycle day 20 could be ovulation. Like it was pretty, pretty big window. Anyway, with that also being said, and I wanna look at this test. <laughs> I, I will admit, and I think a lot of you have realized and a lot of you have noticed over these past few cycles, I am definitely getting tired. I am definitely 
starting to feel the the emotional weight the just the whole like TTC in general is very emotionally physically taxing mentally taxing it's just everything and I'm definitely definitely getting tired and it's, it's what I keep saying like I I used to do multiple tests I used to test 70PO was like non-negotiable. Testing all the way until I got my period was non-negotiable. Two, three tests per day in the morning, like at the same time, non-negotiable. I would test even during the day, multiple times. If like, you know, just if, if there's anything, a faint line, anything, I would be constantly testing. And I think um, someone said in one of those comments, they said that, you know, it's not possible to just see a negative result and then move on with your day, that that's what I do. It is possible when you've reached a point where it happens all the time and it's such a common happening that you're just so tired, you see the result and your mind resigns itself to that. That's what it is for today. Not forever, not for the cycle, not for the next day, just today. It's what it is. It saddens me, it disappoints me, but I'm able to move forward. And I think that is because Yes, I have grown tired. I'm very, very positive. I come on here and I know a lot of you love the, the strength and the positivity and the, like just my lack, I guess, of, of giving up. Like I don't give up. <laughs> and I'm not saying I'm giving up. I'm not saying I'm quitting, which I mean, that could happen at any given stage. It's human nature. I'm saying, of course I'm tired. And of course it's taxing. And of course it's just, it's a lot. But with that being said, I'm not going to sit here and sit and go on and on about how, how exhausting it is and how emotionally awful this is and, and oh my gosh, everyone knows that. It's, it's like no one watches a YouTube video because they want to see the same utter despair. It's kind of like you need someone to help you, to help lift you up. But again, not that I'm hiding that I'm getting tired because I, as I said, I think a lot of you may have caught onto it already. I've stopped doing... Um, 70 bow tests are not as important for me anymore. I don't feel this this inner need to test as early as possible. I find that after 12 DBO, I'm just kind of like, I'm more willing to just wait it out. <laughs> Whereas before, I, there was there was no way. Um, and it just, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of things. I'm, I'm willing to, to, to say that. I'm, I'm more than happy to say that because that's, that's reality. And anyone who doesn't feel that way after a certain point, especially after such a long time, would be lying to themselves, to whoever's asking them. But again, going back to the initial, there is nothing unhealthy <laughs> about being optimistic and hopeful and trying your best with what you have. So if I feel the need to keep trying, I will do so. We have said that multiple times. That does not mean I'm not tired, that I'm just not gonna sit here saying it all the time because then I probably have people telling me to stop saying that I'm constantly tired of this process and to just stop trying, but yeah. I just wanted to put that out there, that TTCing is hard and no matter how you look at it, when you've been trying to conceive for so long with no results, with nothing happening and it's just like, you, you, I, I, I cannot do anything else right now for multiple reasons, whether that is I don't want to do certain things, whether that is we can't do certain things, for multiple reasons, again, I, I've spoken about this so, so many times, I'm just, you know, um, I'm kind of brushing over certain points, I know, but the crux of it is, this is what I'm doing right now. I understand what you are saying, and I know so, so many of you will send me messages and tell me, we've been trying for six months, nine months, a year, and we're just so tired. We're just so done. How do you do it? The truth is, it's exhausting. And there are times when I feel like I want to give up, and I want to stop. And then there are times when I just, I can't, because there's this little, little inkling inside me that says, what if it's next cycle? What if it's this next cycle? The one that will give you that positive. And I will say at this point, if I'm being completely honest, I do feel like we are slowly reaching a point, both me and hubby, because it does take two <laughs> to do this process, um, in our case, of course, um, that we are reaching a point where we are slowly coming to a point where we are willing to as I said, I'm letting go of 70 BO. I'm letting go of like, you know, constant testing of multiple tests of, I think I'm just kind of slowly coming to this place where a lot of people will say to me, and I'm just kind of jumping here, but a lot of people say to me, 
you need to stop and forget about it and not think about it and kind of let go and if it happens, it happens. I can't do that because the moment I think of the possibility of a pregnancy, I do want to test. Whether that is an 8 dBO, 9 dBO, 10 dBO, it's still a thing that kind of sits in the back of my head, right? However, as time goes by the way I am going about it right now, I feel like the natural continuing of it, if this cycle doesn't work out, if, if we move on to another cycle and that cycle doesn't work out, I feel like I would naturally reach a point where I will be okay with just kind of letting go and being okay with that. Naturally, day by day, not forcing myself, not stressing myself. That is all I have to say. It has been forever. I need to look at this test. <laughs> I just, I needed to say that. Yes. And I'm sorry to those who had to skip this whole thing to get to this part. I apologize for chatting too much. I hope I made sense. Maybe I didn't, who knows? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. And that does not change the fact that I cannot look at a test. It's until you see, until you see it. Once you see it, it's like, it's a thing and then, No, that's a negative. <laughs> and as I said, it is disappointing, it is sad, it is 10 dBO today. 10 dBO is always the day that I kind of expect that positive. That's okay. Um, tomorrow's 11 dBO. I will be here doing another test because that's what I want to do. Not because I am crazed or uh, obsessed or um, I don't know what else, <laughs> but yes. Um, we'll see how we go. Thank you guys for being here. And I know that you guys care. Trust me, I do. And I'll see you tomorrow.